Throughout her varied professional life, Dr. Eleanor Avenor has dedicated herself to helping others find happiness. After 35 years as a teacher and counselor working in a crisis center, she decided to pursue psychotherapy, a field she has thrived in as the founder of her own private mental health care practice since 2007. Born in Boston, Massachusetts and raised by parents who were idealists and very active in the community, Dr. Avenor always valued education. She attended the University of Haifa where she earned a Bachelor of Arts in English Language in 1970. She also earned a Master of Arts in 1981. By 1990, she had received Doctor of Education from the University of New Mexico. She later completed coursework in redecision therapy at Southeast Institute in North Carolina and psychotherapy at the School of Psychotherapy at Rambam Hospital Medical School. Dr. Avenor also holds a Master of Science in Psychotherapy from the University of Derby in England. When she studied art therapy, she had people draw pictures and describe how they feel. She realized she was writing a lot of work for pictures that were not hers, so she asked people to draw or donate pictures. She tried it out and then used their pictures, but then started to draw her own. In 1972, not long after earning her first degree from the University of Haifa, Dr. Avenor became a researcher and English as a foreign language teacher at the institution and remained in the position until 2009. In 1990, she became the academic director and head of the department at KEG Cards International, KEG Cards being the therapy tool she created to help those who need to feel better emotionally. They are two-sided cards. On one side are pictures and on the other are questions to be asked by therapists or counselors to get to the core issues of the client. They have since become used worldwide. In 2007, she started her psychotherapy business, which has proven to be a successful and rewarding avenue for her. After spending most of her professional life as a teacher and counselor, she felt she had more to learn. So after obtaining her degree in this field, she discovered that psychotherapy fit her like a glove. One of her most gratifying moments as a therapist has been helping a transgender client who became very happy with their new body and life. She is also very skilled at analyzing her client's dreams and has been able to look at the lives and psyche of adults and children alike and help them figure out what to do to reach a better place. When she retired from teaching, she was able to devote more time to psychotherapy and developing her KEG cards. So in many ways, her big break in the second half of her career was simply getting older and being able to retire. As a further reach of her services within the field, Dr. Avenor has authored several works throughout her career. Most recently, in 2017, she wrote, Surely There Is Not Enough, for Psychology and Behavioral Science International Journal, and in 2006, authored the paper, CMC Among Multilingual Students of English, for Academic Purposes, Linguistic and Sociolinguistic Communicative Factors in Online Written Responses. Additionally, she co-authored Circassian Israelis, Multilingualism as a Way of Life, Academic Difficulties and Early Literacy Deprivation, The Case of Ethiopians in Israel, and A Description of Language Attitudes and Achievements of Russian Immigrant Students at Haifa University in 1995. For the University of New Mexico, she wrote A Study of the Relationships Among Multilingualism, Learning, Style, and Cognition in 1993. Dr. Avenor presented her KEG cards during a 2009 conference in Holland called Reattach, which mostly focused on autism. She provides workshops on the cards around the world. Dr. Avenor is affiliated as a member with the Israeli Association for Marital and Family Therapy, UTELI, and Eurocall. She was recognized in 2000 for her work and dedication with Rector's Committee Grant to Create Internet Modules for Foreign Language Courses. 
Out of everything she had accomplished in her robust and impactful career, Dr. Avenor is most proud of her own children. They are happy in their lives, professions, marriages, and families. With 47 years of professional experience, Dr. Avenor leaves behind a legacy of empathy, compassion, hard work, and significant contributions to her field. She urges the younger generation and aspiring professionals to not give up and always persevere in the face of challenges.